welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to be talking about old school finesse. Now, back in the late 70s, early 80s, when I started fishing, to us, this was finesse. When we were finesse fishing, this was it. Usually a six inch, four inch plastic worm, size one or one knot hook, and a little one sixteenth ounce weight. Sometimes we'd even go to a one thirty second. And to us, that was finessing. If, if we had a heavy lead on there, even with a six inch worm, we didn't really consider that finesse. Finesse meant a light weight. Now, the way to work this is just cast it out. Whether, I mean, usually we're on a boat, and usually we fish uh, steeper banks and we do this technique. But cast it out and, and always cast at an angle too, like a 45 degree angle or so. I never cast just straight out because these fish are usually sitting at a certain depth. And when you cast straight out and come in, you're going through each depth zone really quick. Whereas if you cast at a good angle, you're spending more time in each depth zone, which probably means more fish will have a chance to see it, which should hopefully lead to more fish. Now the way we work these is we just do three, four, five quick little jerks like that. And then we hold it and we reel in with the sack and we let it drop back down to the bottom. Because with this light line and this light weight and the resistance of the line, when you're picking it up, it's actually picking it up like this up off the bottom and it can usually come up probably a good two three feet especially if you're on a steeper bank and then it'll slowly float back down to the bottom and most of these fish will pick it up on the drop so be prepared on, on the way down to reel in because that's probably when you're going to feel the tick is when it's dropping back down to the bottom or when you first pick up to do your next one you, you might feel them or if you don't feel any weight Reel in really quick and set the hook because that probably means a fish has got it and it's coming at you. But it's a technique we've been using since the late 70s for us. Like I said, it was finesse fishing back then. We didn't have drop shot and all these different turns and, and techniques that we have now. But I still use it today. I've been using it for 30 years and I just really like it because it brings that worm up off the bottom a good two or three feet, like, like something coming up. And then it just slowly just floats back down very naturally to the bottom. So, give it a try. Let's see if you get some good fish on it. I mean, it always works for me. Until next time.